Okay, so um, this lecture, uh, I'll tell you about the agenda. Uh, a lot of people are wondering how the two different lecture labs, like the format, well, the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to run through the agenda as though it's one long three and a half hour um, lecture lab. So <clears throat> if you're coming, I guess this doesn't apply to you, but if you're coming in the second half, it might not make as much sense as if you came right now. So um, what I'm going to cover in the agenda, basically I'm going to cover the relationship essentials in, in my terms, which are trust, connection, communication, and choice. So I will do a little bit of, le well not a little bit, I will lecture <laughs> about these different concepts, and then for each one of them, we're gonna do an exercise with the dogs, so, um, which I really enjoy. Behavior is changeable, so there's no connection here at all between Martina and her little border collie puppy when there's this toy involved. So I think he's like nine weeks and he, uh, it, you know, I don't think that it's a good idea to reach for him, but I did want to show, because I, was, I didn't think it was that stressful, I did want to show how he has an aversion to the reaching hand. He, he would freeze and in the, pa like in the past by mistake, he froze and growled when someone came to reach for the toy he was about to, to grab. So you see freezing and, and stiffening up. And then the reason I'm showing this, it's a tutorial on YouTube, but this is just some footage of it, is that behavior is changeable, especially if you are proactive about it. So in, this was just one training session. We changed his emotional response. It wasn't clean training. It was kind of a little bit sloppy. Um, but now he doesn't guard toys. But if we had been like, uh, you know, I, we can work on that some other time, he could have learned and practiced and have these memories of what he does when a, a reaching person comes. And it's really hard to undo memories. So um, also just not labeling the dog. Oh, he's a garter. Let's change it. So even there, when she drops the first treat, he freezes over the ball. <laughs> but then he looks slightly shocked afterwards. <laughs> OK, so it's fast forwarded to a couple minutes later. And she gets her first retrieve ever. So, okay, it gives me the shivers because, <laughs> because, well, because we'd been trying to get the retrieve for weeks. That's what, I mean weeks. The, for the first week, we had been trying to get him to, you know, bring something. It wasn't working. All we needed to do was work on this first. Um, but another thing that makes me shiver is that when you think, oh, I'm just doing, you know, classical conditioning, you're, we just taught him to fetch. So you're never just doing classical conditioning, and you're never just doing apparent conditioning. You're always doing both. So the attention game, you're also doing classical conditioning. You're, you're, you're pairing yourself with fun, running, and, and getting treats. You saw that woman working with her little toller puppy and communicating. This is my weird way of communicating with my border collie. Um, and I'm just going to show it to you as an example. I don't say go out and hold treats in both your hands when you're training and, and this means this and that means that. That's what I, what I do. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm saying find that thing that, that makes training fast, easy, and, and you're able to communicate. Okay, so luring with the hands like this means follow with your nose and switch over when I switch over hands. But then for a good job. But then for um, luring with the feet, I use a hand gesture where I have my fingers sticking up. So this side is her right foot and this side is her left foot. So good job, good job, good job. Ready? Awesome, well done. If I see her starting to predict, predict which hand the treat's going to come out of, I'll usually feed her out of the opposite hand. Okay. 
So um, there, if the dog doesn't move away fast enough, you could have the person back up. Okay. So the person back up so that your dog's choosing because they might think you're cueing them. So if you backed up more, and then maybe use less. T <laughs> what do you have? Your treats are too good. What have you got? Her treats. I have, oh, really? I have the exact treat I'm okay, so then don't have treats, I think, because her dog really likes treats and maybe likes yeah. people less. So, yeah. sorry. Not a problem. Okay, let's see if it works now. I'll be even right now. <laughs> okay. So now, you know, you can see. Hmm. Awesome. Do you have any really not so cool treats oh. that don't taste very good? No, I really don't. I oh, okay. want all the best. <laughs> so there. <laughs> so now that you, you've got it, um, then you could try using the food.